Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Monday, May 18th, 2020, and it's Mrs. Mariani here, and this week I will be hosting our morning meeting. I would like to start off our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance and the Fernbrook Pledge. So please stand up and put your right hand on your heart. Ready, salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge to do my best. I pledge to listen to adults and classmates. I pledge to walk through the halls quietly. I pledge to be respectful and responsible. Great job, boys and girls. So today is Mindful Monday. So I want you to really think about how it is to be mindful. We remember that when we are mindful, we are aware of everything that is going around us. Maybe different sounds, different smells, so different tastes. I know last week you did some mindful eating with Mrs. Balaban. So today we're going to go for a mindfulness walk. So I want you to think about what a mindfulness walk would be. Hmm. Well, a mindfulness walk would be where you take a walk and you are mindful or you take notice of the sounds happening around you. I know just when I was sitting here recording my video, I heard cars driving behind me outside. I heard dogs barking in the distance. I even heard some birds. So that's your task today for your Mindfulness Monday. Now you could go on Seesaw and you can share either in writing or you can share a video and share at least three things that you were mindful of that you heard when you went for your mindfulness walk. Now, if for some reason mom or dad aren't around and they can't take you outside for a walk, you can even just walk around your home and I bet there'll be different things that you hear that you'll be more mindful of as you take a walk from room to room. Maybe you'll hear the sound of a clock ticking. Maybe you'll hear the sound of cars driving by your home. All right. So what I'd like you to do is you're going to pause the video. I'd like you to go ahead for your mindfulness walk and then you can come back and meet me here for our foundations lesson. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed your mindfulness walk. I can't wait to hear about the different sounds that you heard while you were walking around. So today we're gonna learn or really review some sight words. So this week, the sight words that we are looking at are listed here. So when we look at our words, we have the first sight word, I-S. Who remembers what that sight word is? Oh, I said it, it's is. And that's such a silly word because remember we've talked about how, you know, we can't always tap out our sight words like we can with our CVC words. So is, we hear the short I, I, but the S doesn't make the snake sound. It actually almost sounds like a Z. So we want to remind ourselves that when we see this word, we don't read it as is, we read it as is. Can you say it with me? Is. Great. Then we just add an H in front of the word is, and H makes what sound? That's right, the sound. So now if we put the with the is, we've made the word his, is and his, they rhyme. Then we go to our next sight word. We see the letter O and we see the letter R. When we put them together, because O normally says ah, 
we're not going to say are. The word is or. Say it with me. Or. And then finally, just like how we did with is, and we added the H sound to it to make it his, well, this time we take our sight word or, and we're going to add the beginning sound of, that's right, the F sound of, and it goes from or to four. Again, they rhyme. We have two sets of rhyming sight words today. So is, his, or, for. So your task today is to use one or two of the words of our new sight words this week, and I want you to write them in a sentence. Now remember, we remember our sentence writing rules. We always start with an uppercase. We put our finger spacing between our words. We use a punctuation mark at the end. And take notice of your letter formations. Make sure that they fit between the lines. If it's supposed to touch the skyline, have it touch the skyline. If it starts at the plane line, make sure it's starting at the plane line. And then if it gets to go down to the worm line, make sure you extend your letter. I have an example of a sentence here. Help me read it. This bag is for my dad. So you can notice I started with my uppercase letter. I have finger spacing between all of my words. I have a punctuation mark at the end to remind me to stop reading. And I used two sight words. I used the word is and I used the sight word for. And notice I underlined them and I wrote them in a different color. So you can do your sentence just like that as well. So remember, all you have to do is write one sentence, make sure you use one, two, or challenge yourself and try to write all four sight words in your sentence, and then share it on Seesaw so your teacher can see the sentence that you wrote. All right, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.